Oh my God, I, I gotta apologize. I was so busy trying to catch up to this school bus and so appalled by what I saw coming out of this little Richie school bus that I totally forgot to start the video until about four or five minutes in. And here, here you can see why I got behind this school bus. Um, this one is pretty bad. Not the worst I've seen, but definitely up there. And there is no excuse for it. Little Richie is one of the larger school bus companies in New York City. They are out of Queens and they service, I believe, all five boroughs. They have about 500 school buses that um, are contracted by the Department of Environment of Education. And there's no reason why they can't maintain their school buses and stop them from putting out this level of particulate matter and exhaust. The fumes are pretty bad. I really just had to get this on camera. Here you can see um, the name of this, the company, Little Richie, and you can see the exhaust just coming out all the time. I'm and you can see the back of the bus, and I'll get um, I'll get behind it again. There you can see the ID number four four seven D, and um, I'll try and get their license plate a little bit better later. I'm sure I got it in an earlier shot. Um, I don't know how parents put their kids on the school bus and not complain to this company. They really need to be made aware of, of this school bus, put it in service, take it out of commission, uh, really probably just update it with a newer school bus with less emissions. But probably part of the problem is nobody knows who to complain to. I mean, I definitely think the Department of Education should be made aware. Little Richie should definitely be made aware. Uh, I've put up um, a Yelp post for them and you I'll put a link in the bottom to make comments on their Yelp I was the first review I don't know how no parents have done any reviews on on the school bus company um, I'll try have to check other um, websites to see if there are reviews there but I mean just look at this it's just all the time constant particulate matter coming out this bus is not in good shape um, but again, the Department of Education is probably the first place you should complain and to the company. Uh, I believe that the Department of either Environmental um, Control, um, sorry, Conservation, DEC, the state, or um, maybe DOT or even um, the DMV, somebody. Um, I gotta find out who does the, ins who co who's control of inspections in the city and get them on this. I'm gonna alert them to this particular school bus. Uh, we have the ID number, the license plate, 16634SH, and the company and say, you know, you guys need to service this bus. If I was putting my kid on this bus, I would have been calling in a long time ago. I don't think that this just started. And I mean, this is the reason why we need to move to electric school buses and why I'm doing this. This is very harmful to the kids and everyone that breathes the air in New York City. We have the third worst air pollution. It's a very dense city. I calculated with about the 30 square miles that um, New York's um, city occupies, there's about 60 school buses per square mile. It's gonna have impacts on everyone's long-term health and we need to correct this situation. It, it it was just appalling to follow this bus, but I had to I had to do it. I have to show it. We have to call them out. We have to make this public. Anyone out there who you know you have your dash cam, your cell phone or a dash cam, if you see these dirty school buses out there, record them. Let them know. Make comments on their review pages. You know we can't just ignore the situation and let it continue harming our kids and us. Um, everyone in the city if you want to send me the video you can I'll put uh, my email in the bottom of the YouTube page or if you're on my web page you can find my email um, on the contact us electrify at electric school bus campaign dot org um, might have to make a Dropbox because I know video files can get pretty large and I'll post them we got we got to let people know that this is happening this is not acceptable we have to change it for the future and that's why I'm working on um, the bill with Drum and hopefully get other people involved. We are getting a few more sponsors, but we need a lot more sponsors for this thing to go forward. And um, I mean, I don't want to ramble on forever, but this is the long form video. 
this will show you the whole a good um, nine minutes of me riding behind the school bus and you can look for just kind of the highlights which I call the low lights um, because this is really not a highlight to see it, the exhaust coming out of the school bus and um, I'll put a link to that video at the end of this video if you just want to see the short short form it's probably about two to three minutes and it, it's just the plumes of exhaust coming out of the school bus we can go to electric today the buses are being manufactured but if the demand is not there they'll not produce them in any high quantities and get the prices down there's no reason for us to continue on this path of exhaust and emissions contributing to health problems like asthma heart disease global warming issues um, there's just there's just no reason for it so I'm gonna cut it off here and leave you with some maybe soothing music to help finish out this video Thanks for watching the Electric School Bus Campaign's YouTube channel. If you're new to the channel or haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button. It only takes a second. To get notifications of our latest videos, hit the bell in the upper right hand corner. If you found the videos informative and entertaining and would like to help the channel to grow, don't forget to click that like button. But the best way to help us grow is to share our, these videos on your favorite social media site. You should also visit our website, electricschoolbuscampaign.org, for more information, or follow us on our social media websites, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and Instagram. You'll find the links below in the comments section, or search Electric School Bus Campaign. To learn more about what's going on with the Electric School Bus Campaign, or in the Electric School Bus world, choose one of our videos below. I hope you enjoy. Thanks again for watching and continue to spread the word.